Hi, my name is Kelly Clement, and I'm the director of sales here at Metastock. And, you know, we get to talk to a lot of people uh, as we release features and put out new features into Metastock. Obviously, when Metastock 14 came out, we put and gave a lot of new features uh, as part of that upgrade. But we always like to add more and give our users more. And that's why we're pleased to announce the Metastock 14 2016 Toolkit. So this is a free upgrade for those people who already have Metastock 14. And those people who get Metastock 14 will get these new indicators, experts, and uh, scans as part of it. So in this video, I'd like to just introduce you to the Metastock 14 2016 Toolkit and show you some of the new indicators, experts, and explorations that we've put together for you. The first one we have for you is what's called up-down volume. So up-down volume is uh, something that's been highly asked for uh, over the last few years. And what this is, it's basically a template that's available for you in Metastock now. So you right click on a chart, go to apply template, scroll down and you'll find the MS2016 colored volume template. Just choose apply. And uh, it would plot this new colored indicator down here that you'll see matches the MS2016 volume up, down, and neutral. And basically what this is designed to do is show you very quickly if the market had an up day on volume, if volume has increased or decreased. And you can easily tell that by just zooming in here. And you can see here we have a, a red volume bar. You can see that it was less than the previous day. Here we have a green volume bar and you can see that it's higher than the previous day. So it's a way to quickly color code and see your volume, whether it's an up day for volume or whether it's a down day for volume. So very uh, a visual indicator to help you as a trader quickly get the most out of volume and what volume's doing. And again, just uh, right click, apply the MS2016 volume color template and you're able to uh, quickly access that. Uh, the next one are pivot indicators. Um, this is something that's uh, kind of, a, I would guess to say, a fan favorite uh, where people really like and look for pivot and pivot indicators. So what we've done is we've actually done three different sets of pivot uh, indicators here. And in the indicator drop-down list, they're all found under the MS2016. And these are, this is the 2016 toolkit. So you'll see three different indicators for pivots, one for daily, monthly, and weekly. Now these are all uh, designed to be plotted on uh, daily or higher time frames. So for example, if I grab the uh, pivots daily, bring it in and drag it down on a chart, it's kind of a noisy one because this one's calculated off of daily data. So for the daily pivots, you really want to use that on a lower time frame, like a 30 minute or a 10 minute or an hourly chart. Let's just uh, go to an hourly chart here on Apple. And you can see now I've got the daily pivots broken down over my chart. And you can see where each day is uh, calculated differently based off of the pivots. So this will give you the main pivot plot line. Then you'll get um, S1, S2, S3, R1, R2, R3. So we have our three support lines and our three resistance lines to help you identify those strong areas of support and resistance. So if, you're, if you trade based off of support and resistance, these are going to be a critical part of your trading uh, without having to calculate these by hand. So these are now, again, all included uh, in version 14. So let me uh, just uh, actually delete this one off for a moment and we'll go back down to the daily chart. If you're uh, using um, Metastock DC, Metastock end of day, you'll want to use the, either the weekly or the monthly pivots uh, to view this. So we'll, let's go ahead and put on a weekly pivot here. And you can see how that uh, calculates out the weekly pivot and shows you a week pivot, pivot plot over the, the course of this last week. So these will definitely help you identify those areas of support and resistance because we hear from our users a lot that support and resistance is really a critical element to their trading and understanding where support and resistance is. So in addition to these support and resistance lines, one of the uh, other new features that we've put in is a pivot expert. Uh, we call it the Golson's Pivot Expert. And what this one is designed to do is it will really just quickly plot on your chart for you. Let's go up to our expert advisor. And uh, same thing, we'll look for the MS2016. We're going to go to Golson's Pivots, choose Attach. And you're going to see it'll plot these diamonds on your chart. And then also these exclamation points. 
what these are designed to do is just quickly tell you what level of pivot you have that you're looking at. So if I come up here, we have a major up pivot. Down here, we hover over it, we have a major down. Here we have an intermediate up for the blue triangle and then an intermediate down for the red triangle. You can also turn on smaller levels if you'd like to. Just come down to this box in the corner, double click here, and you'll see here we have major up, down, intermediate up, down, and you can also do minor pivots if you want to. That gets a lot, you have a lot of minor pivots. A lot of people don't use the minor pivots, so that's why we have it defaulted unchecked, but make it available to you if you want those minor pivots. So in addition to identifying support and resistance, as we are doing with the, uh, the pivot weekly and the pivot daily and monthly uh, indicator, now you can also plot just quickly these pivot points on your charts. So a very quick, easy expert to use. So let me just attach that for a moment. Uh, another new set of indicators, and these are actually really cool. I'm, I really like these indicators. These are divergence. So if you're looking for divergence between price and an indicator, this is going to help you identify it. And there's actually two different things you can do. One, you can scan for divergences, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. Or you can just put the indicator on the chart and it will let you know you have a divergence. So let's actually start there. So let's go back to our Apple chart here. And I'm just going to go back up to my MS 2016 toolkit. And you have two different sets. You have a bullish divergence or bearish divergence. So let's do a bullish divergence here. And what this will do is what's called a binary indicator. It's going to basically alert you if whatever you're looking for is true. So you'll see these little pop-ups here. These are days that we had a divergence between an indicator and Apple, uh, the stock that we're looking at. Now the question is, well, what indicator is it doing? Well, it's actually doing the MACD as a default. So when you first install this, it's set up as the MACD, but you can actually do it as any indicator you want to. So if I just uh, double click on this and edit, and go formula, you'll see it says the indicator is the MACD. So an example I wanted to do an RSI divergence, I could, I could do an RSI divergence, put 14 period RSI, and now you can see it's flagging me when I have divergences with RSI between the indicator and price. But let's go back to the MACD for just a moment. Okay, so we have our MACD. We'll choose Apply. Now, one thing I recommend, I'm not going to get in it, into it in this video, but you can contact our support and they can show you how to make copies of indicators. So you can make as many different versions of this with different indicators as you want. So that's one of the great features of this. So let me go ahead and choose OK here. We'll go back and uh, let's just plot the MACD so we can look at our divergence. Choose OK. So what, uh, what this indicator is looking for, uh, quite simply, it's looking for two different things to happen. Uh, it's looking for a little stronger confirmation than maybe just a standard divergence between price and the indicator. It's actually looking for a mini pivot. So it's looking for this up, down, up, so it's, you see this little V-shaped pattern that we have here. And then we're looking for a divergence between price and this. So we have price lower, but the indicator higher, and that gives us the divergence. So we have to have a combination of those two things happen in order for it to be able to give me an alert that I have a divergence between the two. So here, as you can see with Apple right now, it is showing an, a, bear, excuse me, a bullish divergence because we have our V-shaped pattern. We have the indicator higher and, and price lower at this point than moving higher. So that gives us our divergence. You can also scan for these divergences if you want to. Same thing, it's got a, if we come in here and we look for the MS 2016 toolkit divergences, uh, you'll see it does, has the same thing. We can come in here and we can choose and we can change the indicator if you want to, to an RSI or a stochastic. Again, I recommend uh, contacting us and we can show you how to make a copy of an indicator to be able to do that. In the Explorer, it's easy. You just right click, hit copy, and suddenly you've got another copy of it. Okay, so I'm going to cancel that and just stick with my current divergence right here. So you can just choose this choose scan, we'll do the S&P 100 here. And let's go ahead and scan this and see if we can find any divergences on uh, comparing the MACD against price. OK, 
Okay, it doesn't look like we have any there, and that's okay. That doesn't always that doesn't always uh, happen to have uh, prices match that. So let's uh, let's expand our universe just a little bit and go up to the S&P 500 and see if we can find any divergences on, between price and the MACD indicator here. Now you can imagine that this saves a lot of time because what you're really doing is you're identifying one stock out of 500 that'll match that divergence for you. And you can see that we have one uh, stock here, that's one or two stocks that's probably meeting our criteria. And that, that makes it easy for me as a trader to quickly say, hey, I've got a trade opportunity based off of divergence. So we've actually got three different ones here. We have Stanley, Stanley Black & Decker that's giving a bullish, Hershey that's bullish, and then uh, General Growth Products here that's doing a bearish divergence. So you can see how this can quickly help you identify those opportunities. So let's go ahead and close that, and then let's go on to the next section here. Uh, the final uh, thing that we've actually added in that's not actually part of the toolkit, this was actually part of the initial Metastock, 26, Metastock 14 release uh, that we did last year, is uh, the LCI trading system. And the LCI trading system, again, kind of going back to that theme of pivots and support and resistance, is people really tell us that they like support and resistance and this type of methodology. So uh, this system was developed by a gentleman named Logan Connors. And you put this together, and as, as people have been using it, we've gotten feedback as to maybe some things that they'd like to see a little differently. So the gentleman that uh, created it, Logan Connors, sat down and took a lot of the user feedback that came from it and put it into Metastock 14. So let's just open up a, a different chart here. We're going to open up Visa, and we're going to open up with the LCI template. And there's a few different templates that come in with the LCI. And what, uh, what he's tried to do, and this isn't going to be a comprehensive overview of the LCI. We have uh, lots of videos that go into great detail about what the LCI is and how it works. But again, it goes back to support and resistance and pivots. And you can see that here, that he's got several different support and resistance lines. He's got uh, pivot labels uh, that you can go through, like major support here. Uh, major bounces, things like that. So you can see this on the chart. And what he's done as part of this new version of the LCI is one, greatly update and give you a clear view of what you should be doing with his expert commentary. So in this video, you can in this commentary here, you can see a score. So this is a lot clearer than the previous version of the LCI, where you can really understand the score. And what you're looking for is you're looking for a strong score. And if you don't have a strong score, it's not a good trade. Okay, so the you can see right here, he gives you a little definition of this, that the LCI scoring indicator is designed to measure the reversal interest at support and resistance level to determine the likelihood of, re, of a reversal. So if you have a strong score, you kind of, kind of see we came down here to the bottom and are pivoting back up. So it's got a strong score right now on this particular stock. And that gives it a bullish uh, trade management setup. And what's great about this new commentary that he's given you as part of it is it's going to show you a step-by-step -step how to follow the system through the trade in both giving you your entry price, your target prices, stop levels, and so on. So you can see right here, uh, entry confirmation within the next three trading bars, price must break 74.50 for an allowed entry. So right now it's, it's a penny below that on this particular setup. So if it, if it breaks that price, then it's an allowed entry. Okay, so our entry price would be 74.50. Uh, then it gives you an entry stop. So once you're in the trade, where do you set your stop? And then next, breakout exit. Breakout exits are, are momentum-based entry signal. Exit when closing prices close below the adaptive stop loss. And as you go through here, it breaks down all the different indicators it's using to give you your trade setup and how you should be following them. So that's what's great about this new commentary window is it's a lot more developed in how it's going to walk you through the trade. So if you're a support and resistance trader, this is really the next step in taking those pivots, the 
and the pivot identifiers, and then really turning it into a trading system. So bringing all that together and plotting them in different ways. So these indicators are very well designed to help you in doing that. So uh, that's one aspect of the LCI that has been updated with this new version of Metastock 14. Uh, the next section he's updated in the LCI is an active trade zone. Uh, or multiple trade zones. So you, you can see these yellow bars in here. And as part of the LCI system, he got, uh, Logan, the person who developed this strategy, does a very good idea, uh, way of showing you how to follow his system by highlighting what's going on on the bars. And you can see this here. So active trade overlaps. So the yellow color is when there's different types of trades going on at the same time. You can see we have a bull bull bounce, bear breakout going on at the same time, bear bounce, bull breakout at the same time. So it'll highlight these multiple active trade highlights for you. But then he colors the bars based off of what your current status is in a trade. So right now our, our bars just turned blue. So we have a bull bounce, bull breakout um, signal right now. So it gives you this and walks you through it. And the great thing that Logan has done is really put together great training for you to help you identify all these different trade setups and how to even better follow his system. So if you haven't used the LCI, it's one that I really recommend you check out as part of this whole setup, especially now with the new updated commentary that's easier and more clear to follow and all this active trade management um, coloring of the bars. So. Now that we've covered all these different features, again, the up-down volume to help you quickly identify what's going on with volume, the pivot indicators to help you identify the, the S1, S2, S3, R1, R2, R3 uh, support and resistance lines, the pivot expert so that's going to highlight on your chart where those pivots are happening for you. Then you also have your divergences, what, where you have the divergence between price and an indicator of your choice. You don't have to use the MACD that we put in as the default. You can set it to any indicator you want. You can scan for them. And then also the new enhancements to the LCI. We're calling it the LCI 2.0, just because the overhaul to that, uh, that commentary window is so immense and so much more easy to read. Um, and again, that's all based off of user feedback and what our customers are asking us for. So if you've already upgraded to Metastock 14, these are a great new benefit to what you already have. And all you need to do is update to the latest version. If you have an older version of Metastock, when you upgrade to Metastock 14, again, in, in addition to all the features you get with Metastock 14, you're also getting the Metastock 14 2016 toolkit. And you're also getting the updated LCI 2.0 as part of it. So uh, if you haven't upgraded, I strongly recommend that this is your opportunity to do it with all the new features in 14 and the new 2016 toolkit and the LCI 2.0. So all you have to do is uh, give us a call at the 1-800-882-3040, chat with us at metastock.com slash sales chat, or email us at sales at metastock.com. And any of, our, any of our knowledgeable sales reps will be able to help you and talk to you about these features that are new as part of Metastock 14. Thank you and have a great day.